know what I'm real. I'm real. I'll tell you as it is. I'm sorry. I'm not having this pampering over over it. That's the problem with our fan base. And that's why we don't go forward. Because Claude, we Claude, think... Claude, Claude, Claude. Yeah. Yeah. Let me say man. We don't want let me say one thing, Clyde. Let me say one thing, Clyde. Let me say one thing, Clyde. This is not about the fan base. It's not about the fan base. This is about guys. What one time? Go on, Miguel. Clyde, this is not about the fan base. It's not about anything else. We're talking about what is the greatest Premier League team, right? And when we're talking about the greatest Premier League teams, Arsenal Invincibles have a shout to be spoken about. And if guys are saying they're discrediting the team by saying that shouldn't be even mentioned based on the Invincible season, and you as an Arsenal fan, Claude, you're a disgrace. Him. You're a disgrace because you are honestly you're discrediting no, you're the team. You're discrediting your own team. Don't your own team. I told the truth. I told the truth. I'm not you and your you're part on the other about, channel. You're not talking about right? the team. You're not talking about them performing. The Listen to you here. The treble winning side yeah. is put into that bracket because of the achievement that they got in Europe and in, yeah. the, in the cup competitions. Don't forget that. It's not only based on the Premier League performance. So Come when on, Miguel. So when you when you talk about when you talk about only yeah. Premier League performances, yeah. that so, achievement is one of the no, greatest no, Premier League no, achievements. No, let me finish. But that isn't what. What are you talking about? How many points did they get that year? How many points did they get that year? Don't talk crap, mate. Don't talk crap. He's not. He's not. How many points did they get that year? How many points? Stop! Stop! Stop getting over emotional and shouting. Have a civil conversation. Have a civil conversation, mate. We can draw 38 games and go and and be Why are you shouting? Why are you shouting? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Why are you shouting? We can't hear your point if you're shouting. Speak civilly, please. Miguel is here as well. Gentlemen, so I know you've had to listen. I love it. This ain't fair. But, no, well, Nick's come on and, and had a pop, but I've had a little pop at Arsenal tonight as well. But they're going to give the boys uh, we'll uh, go to uh, Google first. Um, do you think, Claude, that people overrate the Invincibles by saying they're the like Adam, who said they're the greatest Premier League team ever? They're a top side, but they're not the best Arsenal side I've seen. And I'm so going to say it now. No, I'm going to say it now. 98 was better. They won the double. Better team. I'm going to say 2002 was a better team. And I'm even going to say, I'm going to go even as far as to say the 91 team before the Premier League is a better team. Much better. In fact, it's a better team than all of them. Um, 91 uh, and 89 was a much bigger achievement because then that was the, one of the greatest Liverpool sides God. ever. This guy's going back. One of the greatest Liverpool sides. This Liverpool side does not compare with the side of the Liverpool 80s. There we go. Okay. I mean, again, that would look if I'm sitting here, I'm being Switzerland here, and I'm back in uh, Anita and this. I would then say that if Arsenal fans rate the Invincibles above all them teams, that's almost a definition of overrating. Then, if you think all them teams are better than the Invincibles, but Arsenal fans say, and Anita, Anita's point is the reason she says they're a really good team, but the fact they say they're the greatest ever, that's what makes them overrated. That means I w she, nobody said they're the greatest ever. You know, by the way, a lot of people say that. I didn't say that. Well, you said they're one of the best. You I put didn't them say that, Terry. Terry. What? Terry, I don't say they're not the greatest ever. They're not the greatest no, they're not fans. Some Arsenal fans do. Some Arsenal fans do. No, um, Terry, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what gets in my what really upsets me about this whole argument, right? And oh. it's our fan base. Is that sometimes it can be a bit of a joke, our fan base, yeah? Right? <clears throat> oh, this team we've got, right? Yeah, at the moment, it's the work one of the worst teams I've ever seen at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So there's right. people saying that we've got world class players. We've only, to be honest with you, maybe have one world class player. Yeah, <laughs> they had to always go over the top, right? The 2014, right? They should have won. Forget all this and beaten. I would have took two defeats in that season to win. We should have won the fucking treble that year. <laughs> we reconsidered that in the fucking FA Cup semi final. <laughs> We put we put we put, uh, we put a weak side in the FA Cup semi final. In the Champions League, we were more concentrating on getting this unbeaten run, and mm -hmm. we messed up. We messed up. That I would have took three defeats in that season and won the Champions League. I'm not interested. Uh, this bloody gold trophy is getting on my nerves. At the end of the day, it's like a, it's just another Premier League trophy. And I get Adam's point now. I'm going to have a go, at Adam here. Right. 
Adam, you said, oh, it's uh, no one, um, no one's ever achieved, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Tell me no one's ever achieved. So if a, if a golfer, is a rare event when a golfer gets a hole in one. Yeah. But would he rather have a hole in one or a major title? Claude, the socioeconomic oh, status I'm in, I can't afford to play golf, so I really don't know. I'm really... No, but I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm, really... Go on, I'm, asking you I'm, I'm asking you a question. What would a golfer say? Would he rather have a major... Mm. Or a hole in one, which is very rare. Yeah, he, he probably. probably on, I mean, um, uh, but that year we should have won. The, we could have won the treble that year. Mm. Wenger put a weak side in the FA Cup semi final against Man United, right? And, he, and and in the end, we were knackered after that because after the players got injured, and we we went on to the uh, that Champions League. We beat Chelsea three times that season. Yet we couldn't beat them in the in the Champions League because of that. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not interested in hearing all this rubbish. I'm, I'm, I keep hearing it, invincible, invincible, invincible. I'm, it's driving me mad. It's a neat, neat. It looks, it looks like. I mean, oh, you got one of the biggest. Oh, no, because I speak, I speak as a realist. I don't speak like mm -hmm. a dreamer. I, I speak as a realist. Well, Adam, his fan base don't speak as it. Adam, where do you actually? So on a on a just look at Premier League era because of uh, age. We'll pro age into that because like me and you, we didn't watch we didn't watch Premier League football. We, we weren't old enough or born. Um, where do you rate the Invincibles in the Premier League era in terms of teams? What slot in greatest? Of course, unlike I know I, I like Rack, but the thing about winning not being important is mad. You know, if it weren't if if, if winning weren't important, Cole wouldn't be so famous. To get what I mean, um, <laughs> it's true. Um, where would you, where would you personally rank? The Invincibles, mate. Uh, okay, if if we're talking about everything, uh, they for me, they they probably just sneak into the top five, um, and that goes back to the the stuff I was talking about before with the Manchester United team. I said trouble winning, but I did I meant the the three peat um, Manchester United team. Um, one of the Chelsea teams, like I said, the Centurions, all of them. But again, because of the unprecedented nature of what they've done, they have to be in the top five for me. Um, what, the order of it, I really don't know because we can talk about the defensive prowess of, of Chelsea. We can talk about their goal record season. Like, it, it really depends on, on how you view the game. Um, but yeah, if, if another team comes and does it, Arsenal get knocked off their perch. Uh, but until yeah. then, I'm sorry, they're in the top five of me, and I'm I'm not budging. And from your point of view, Anita, if so, if an Arsenal fan's putting them into top five, do you still consider that to be overrating them? Yeah, hundred percent. Because like Claude just said, he it's not even the best Arsenal team. Like you're putting them in the top five, you're putting them in the top five in vain, in my opinion. Like mm. again, I will say this again and again because I feel like some people are not hearing me. The team is very good. I really do appreciate the style of football that they were playing at the time. Wengerball, amazing, great, brilliant, cool, fine, whatever. At the end of the day, I can name you four teams, and Claude has named you three teams, Arsenal teams, that were better than the Invincibles. So saying that they're top five is still overrated for me. Can I say something, though? Yeah, yeah, go five. Go ahead. We've got a few minutes oh, left. Yeah, We've got a few minutes left. Yeah, one second, one second, Claude. One Are second, Claude. Are you talking Claude. about other teams in the past? I can say another team, but you're talking about Premier League now, aren't you? Premier League. It just jumps in terms of Premier League. So, Gail, go on, mate. Um, one second. Mate. I wanted to jump on and tell you guys, we, we're also, you have to rate the team based on the achievements. Every team that's great by the Premier League stature has been rated based on their achievement. And that achievement by based on Arsenal doesn't discredit, you guys are discrediting them based on their achievement, based on the fact that they drew games, this is that. When you compare everyone's achievements, Arsenal's, uh, what do you call it, invincible season was such a great achievement that it, it has to be put in the top five based on the achievement alone. Listen you can't put here. a team, the trouble winning side is put into that bracket because of the achievement that they got in Europe and in, yeah. the, in the cup competitions. Don't forget that. It's not only based on the Premier League performance. So when, you, say, so when, you, when, you, talk about, when you talk about only yeah. Premier League performances, yeah. that yeah. achievement is one of the greatest yeah. Premier League achievements. Yeah. Well, let me finish. But that, that is isn't one what... of the greatest Premier League. What are you talking about? How many points did they get that year? How many Claude, points did they Claude, get that year? Claude, Claude, How many Claude, points did they get that year? Don't talk crap, mate. Don't talk crap. He's not. He's not. He's not. 
I'm not yeah, how many cap. points did they get that year? How many points? Stop, stop, stop getting you over emotional and shouting. You know, have, have a civil point. conversation, mate. Have a civil conversation, mate. No, 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 I'm, no, I'm, could, I'm not in Africa. Listen, I'm, you can draw 38 games and go re get relegated and be Why are you shouting? Why are you shouting? So Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Why are you shouting? We can't hear your point if you're shouting. Speak civilly, please. Speak civilly, please. Again, what I, what I would say, and again, I'm, I'm trying I'm to be. Sure new. Uh, Bro, I, I can't hear what you're you. saying. If you want me to hear your points, don't no, shout at the mic. Right. We can hear him. Come Listen, I, I think for me, I, I get your point. It's a, it is a really good achievement. But again, when you start saying top five, when you actually start to break it down, every team, other team that's within the top 10 has an achievement. You've got Arsenal double winning team. All right. That's winning a double. Like, I don't know. Again, maybe this is lost on the younger generation. Like, doing a double. It is an is a rarity and it's a it's, it's a massive achievement. I know going invincible is as well, but I'm pointing out double is is a rarity and a massive achievement. Winning a Premier League and Champions League at the same time is a massive achievement. Winning trophies back to back is a really big achievement. Getting over 100 points is a really big achievement. So you you kind of got if the Centurions are in the top 10 and it's based on over 100 points. This, this Liverpool team, sorry, top five. This Liverpool team this season is going to get over 100 points. Is going to have to go into that top five. Right, the treble winning team, I, I, if you ever leave that out of the top five, I think you're being biased. It's setting down to three. And then you think about... I, so, for me, I, I kind of feel I get where... I do get where Claude and Nita are coming from. I think the Invincible team were brilliant. But where I think they're overrated is... I, I mean, they're about seven or eight from my list. And By the way, it's still good. Like, I'm not being funny. Like, I would say something like like Bad by Michael Jackson, the song, was maybe about his seven or eight best song. But it was still a banging song. That, 90, that's point. 90 points. 90 points overrated. Hey, Terry, they lost to Middlesbrough. I'm beating, yeah. They lost to Middlesbrough in the semi-final of the League Cup. I've got my own guy. That's how good they were. Come on, let's 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 get it. Let's get this into perspective. Yeah. Oh, but they're overrated. You want me to say flipping hell, Claude? <laughs> <laughs> no, I I'm real. I'm real. I'll tell it as it is. I'm sorry. I'm not having this pampering over over it. That's the problem with our fan base. And that's why we don't go forward. Because Claude, we Claude, think... Claude, Claude, Claude. Yeah. Yeah. Let me say one thing, Claude. Let me say one thing, Claude. Let me say one thing, Claude. This is not about the fan base. It's not about the fan base. About the fan base. Uh, uh, this guys, is about... Guys, one at a time. Go on, Miguel. Claude, this is not about the fan base, not about anything else. We're talking about what is the greatest Premier League team, right? And when we're talking about the greatest Premier League teams, Arsenal Invincibles have a shout to be spoken about. And if guys are saying they're discrediting the team by saying that shouldn't be even mentioned based on the Invincible season, and you as an Arsenal fan, Claude, you're a disgrace. You're a disgrace because you are honestly, you're discrediting no, you're the team. You're discrediting your own team. You're don't call me a disgrace. I told the truth. I'm like you and your you're partner on the other about, channel. You're not talking about right? the team. You're not talking about them performances. You're talking yeah. about now. Stop talking about now. We're talking no, about no, back no. then. Go no, and remember no, no. that time. Go and remember that time. You How old were you again? Don't you're come and tell me you're not going to remember that. Come on, bro. What? Bro, you're a disgrace, mate. You're a disgrace, mate. You keep talking about you never... Listen, I've been watching the game for 10 years. I've been watching the game for over 40 years. Don't tell me, right? I'm a disgrace, right? For telling my making my opinion. I okay, care about my point? football club. What valid I care about my table. football club. I'm, I'm not discrediting that. People like you, yeah, this, argument, this argument, this argument, this uh, argument you have like any substance. Yeah, stop a minute, stop a minute. I, what I would say, go to defend Claude here, just he did bring a point up. He brought a point up how in that season, for instance, you know, we rested players in, in, in FA Cups uh, and in Champions Leagues, which he thinks was to ensure they went unbeaten, but it cost them additional trophies. That, for me, is a fair point to, like for an Arsenal fan to throw in and say, I rate them, but I rate the double season higher because we won, we won two trophies. I'm actually annoyed about the Invincible season being glorified beyond what it was because we actually hamper their opportunity of winning other trophies because we were so hell-bent on going unbeaten. I do think that's a valid point. I don't think that's a I don't think that's a weird thing to say. I don't think that's disrespecting Arsenal, you know. I look at it for me, if, if Man United were to discount, like I'd have got Spurs when they were talking about, oh, we don't really care about FA Cups and League Cups, we want to win the big ones. I I look at that type of attitude, which sounds like what Claude is saying is like, oh, we don't really care if we win them, we just want to get this one. I don't like that that type of attitude. So I think that's a good point made by Claude to say let, he didn't bring let me, let me, let me, let me say my point though. I thought, I thought the fact that he's bringing up what's going on now and talking about fans now has no substance to do with what happened them, them times. 
you have to actually remember at that time, the team was obviously going to be spoken about as this great team. You live in the moment. Right now, we're living in a moment where Arsenal is not so good. So he's constantly going based on what's happening now, discrediting or maybe even lowering the standard of what happened back then. It was a great achievement then. It should be considered a great achievement now, just as I much as any achievement goes that. down. Because he's so bigging the team right, from back on, then too. I was saying, like, you can't really I'm use that. Like, 10 years and yeah, start like, telling me. Claude, Claude one sec. Like, he's telling me. Claude. He's probably watching more ice hockey. And he's telling me about football, talking about football. Come oh, on. Do me a favor. Just because I'm Canadian, right? It's cool. It's cool. One Claude, let Anita speak. Anita, what are you going to say? He's on his channel. That's all he's good at. I was literally just gonna say I don't yeah. think you can say that about Claude saying that because of the um the state that Arsenal's in right now that he's discrediting what happened back then because Claude has literally said two other Arsenal teams were better like he's bigging them up as well do you do you understand that like, it just doesn't make sense to me that you could bring that point up against Claude like it don't make sense to me. Okay, to, to be fair, when I jumped in, he wasn't talking about them at that point. When I jumped in, when I jumped in, when I jumped in, what I heard made me say that reaction. And maybe that's unfit. Claude, I'll tell you this. Honestly, I respect your opinion, but when it comes to when it comes to when it comes to this situation, I think time time has diluted the great teams. Every team back in the day was great at their time. And what happens now gets weighted at a heavier point. So the Centaurians, it's more memorable in your memory. So more people talk about them. No, uh, no, that's a no, great no, team. no, no, no. Not really. I talk about rubbish, Chelsea. Rubbish. Yeah. rubbish. If you get 100 points, it's better, to, it's better to, to get 100 points. That is an achievement. Yeah. You can go 12 games unbeaten. You can go, yeah, cool. All right. So you get 12 draws in, in, a, in a season. Yeah. But really, that season, we didn't go unbeaten, really, because we lost to Middlesbrough in the League Cup. Middlesbrough. Come on, let's let's have a go. Middlesbrough in the League Cup. And we should have beat, we beat Chelsea in the FA Cup and in the league twice. Yeah. Yet. Not in the, yeah. It was the FA Cup and the League twi League Cup, uh, League, uh, Premier League twice. Yet we couldn't beat them in the Champions League. You know why? Because our mental edge went. We didn't have the mentality to carry it over the line. And you know one that we should have won that to, who won it that year? Porto. We would have won Yay! that you attempted. You would have beaten them. Hundred percent you would have beaten them. I'm jumping you know in late. Anita, what was well, your that, what was me. that annoyed me? That's annoying me because for me, for me, he will never go. For me, if that was George Graham. We would have gone on to win the treble that year because he's tactically far superior to that to Wenger. There you go, gentlemen. Yeah. I appreciate, appreciate a girl and a uh, call both coming on. We're wrapping the sharp now and um, and whatnot. Which we'll again, called a girl is always an absolute pleasure having you on call. We'll speak to you soon, right. mate. I Take speak care, the truth, Terry. I, I say thank you very much. Um, I speak the truth as it is. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not. I'm never. I'm not gonna be biased because it doesn't get us anyway. If we don't look at our faults and we think everything is great and don't look at our faults, we will not go further. Right? I get that, mate. Now. Have Never have become think a great okay, guy mate. Because they looked at Take their care, faults mate. and they done something about it. Thank you. All right, mate. I'll feed you soon. Amen. Cheers, mate.